Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Clemente Gomez. I'm a photographer in New York City. And today, guys, I want to talk to you about a topic that a lot of photographers always talk about. And this is a really famous top topic. Is the photographer or is the camera? Um, this is something um, kind of funny and, and real popular, you know, because everybody talks about this. Well, let me tell you something. It's not, it's not a camera, it's the photographer first, okay? Um, the way I started in photography, started in photography with a $200 camera. Um, if you go to my website and in my in, in the bio of my website, the about me and my, my website, I tell you how I started. I started with a two or $300 camera that I had a friend of mine give me and because at that time I didn't have money to buy a camera and I didn't have no choice to start creating images and start creating video with a cheap camera. It's like, a, I'm telling you, it's like 200, between 200 and $300 camera. I remember I had to put batteries inside the camera. It was like an old school camera. That's the way I started in photography, guys. I mean, I don't think it's the, it's the camera because if I started with a $200 camera and I started creating images and video and I started creating content, I, I, I was uh, getting paid for my work. Of course, it was not a, um, the quality maybe was not, uh, oh my God, so big because it was a cheap camera, but, um, but uh, I was creating content that um, I still could sell. You know, it was not a, a 24 megapixel camera. It, was, it didn't have no eye out of focus and didn't have none of that stuff, guys. It was a really cheap camera. Um, and to be honest with you, I forgot even the model of the camera. I think I have it, I write it down somewhere, but I forgot even the model of the camera. But I started with that cheap camera, and I remember that I used to go to the food trucks back in Miami when I used to live in Miami, and I used to go to, to the food trucks and, and offer them my service as a biographer because I started in photography first as a biographer. I started doing a lot of commercial videos, and from there I jumped to, to be a photography. I like photography more. Like I feel more comfortable doing photography than video. Um, that's what I love, but I still I still know how to do video. If you give me a camera for video, I know how to do video, um, and I know how to light for video, all that stuff. Is. So basically, um, yeah, I, I, I was doing um, um, commercial for food trucks, and from, from there my career started growing up little by little. That's why I'm telling you, it's not, it's not, it's not um, the camera, it's the photographer, it's the person who's taking the photos. You can start creating beautiful photos with any type of camera, guys. Uh, don't be don't be scared. Uh, don't be afraid of, of making this next step because somebody's telling you that you cannot be creating images because you have a cheap camera. That's a BS, guys. Um, in this era, you, in, in 2020, you have cameras. I mean, you start you can start with a crop sensor camera that can cost you between six or seven hundred bucks, and you still can create some epic image. I mean, it's all about lighting. It's about how you light your subject, how, what type of lighting do you use? Like if you're gonna use a sub box or if you're gonna use a continual lighting or LED, LED light or something like that. So it's not a, um, I don't think it's the camera guys, it's the photographer. If you know how to play with your light, if you know how to position the light in different angles and, and look how, 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 play with the light, you know, because photography is painting with lighting. So. You have to learn how to do that. You learn how to master your lighting. Don't worry too much about the camera. A lot of people always focusing, oh my God, because you know, if I don't have expensive camera, I cannot create content. Guys, that's, that's BS, man. You, of course you can create content. This is you. You need to master lighting. You need to learn how to use, you know, you need to learn how to do composition. You need to know how to do the white balance real, real fast in the camera if you're in a, in a fast environment. You need to do, know how to do poses if you're gonna do fashion or models or, or any, type of, any type of work. You need to know how to do, um, how to use the aperture, shutter speed, ISO, and all that stuff. You need to know how to use your camera. Like, what do you do is spending a $5,000 camera, spending $5,000 in a camera if you don't even know how to use the camera? I mean, you know, learn how to use cameras first. Start with a cheap camera. And then later on, little by little, you start moving on. It's not a, it's not the camera, guys. It's the photographer. I, 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 every time I teach photography here in New York, I do I do some workshops here in New York. And when I when I teach photography, a lot of people ask me, "Oh, because if I don't have a five thousand dollar camera or three thousand dollar camera, can I create jobs, Clemente? Can I can I do can I create content?" 
guys, it's not a camera. It's, it's, it's a photographer. Like, and here on YouTube, everybody talk about camera, but a lot of people don't talk about this topic right here. Like, why you guys don't talk about this? You guys all talk about is sometimes it's, it's about only gear, 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 or gear. I understand, but guys, photographers, you need to open your eyes more for be creative out there and, and create images with any type of photography gear that you have. You don't have to have a $5,000 camera to start creating images. That's that's horrible. Like, that's the worst advice you can give to somebody that is studying in photography. You can start photography with any type of gear. Yes, of course, you have, if you have more, um, uh, more quality gear, you could do probably more bigger jobs. But guys, I had uh, when I was like I said, when I started in photography, I was doing jobs where I was getting paid uh, five or six hundred dollars for a commercial video with a two hundred dollar camera. That's insane. I was doing commercial video with a two hundred dollar camera, and and they was paying me five or six hundred dollars at the beginning when I started. So don't let um, the camera stop you. Don't let the camera. Um, because you don't have a $5,000 camera or a $3,000 camera. It's not about the gear, guys. It's about you, about you as a photographer. Like, what what view do you have in your mind? What Like, oh, I wanna create this image and I wanna put a light on this angle. And, and probably I wanna put, maybe if I'm doing a, pro, a product photo shoot, I wanna put the lighting from this angle. I probably wanna throw some smoke from the back with a smoke machine from the back and, and I want to do this and I want to do that and I want to put the another lighting from this angle and I want to get in the floor and take the picture from the bottom or I want to take the picture from the top. You know, you need to play with those things, guys. At the end of the day, that's what photography is about. Photography is about cre be creative. It's not only about the camera. It's not only about the lighting. It's about first being creative. Get, get master your lighting. You need to master your light. A lot of photographers, they like want to do only, they only want to do natural, they only want to take pictures of natural photography. They only want to go outside and take pictures only at six in the afternoon, five in the afternoon. That, guys, that's not photography. I'm, I'm sorry that I told you this, but that's not photography. Photography is about taking pictures in any type of day, at any type of, at any type of daytime or any, any, you know, any, any, any time, guys. I mean, why are you limiting yourself? Why are you why are you putting limit? Why are you limit, limiting yourself as a photographer, as a, as a creator? Why are you limiting yourself? You stop limiting yourself. If somebody come to you right now and tell you, oh, I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars, but you need to do a photo shoot for me at twelve o'clock in the afternoon at a beach, you're gonna say no because I don't know how to use a light. I don't know how to use a strobe light. Guys, that's that's my stop, man. You need to know how to play with lights. You need to know how to play with with, with any type of lighting. You know, be be. Um, be versatile, you know, learn how to do all type of lighting, um, or play with composition, learn how to do retouching, um, learn how to do marketing so you guys can make money because you can be taking the most beautiful photos, but if nobody pay for your work, you ain't going to make money, right? How are you going to pay your bills? How are you going to put food on the table for your family? If you have a wife, if you have a kid, how are you going to pay for that? If you want to, I mean, you, if you have kids, how are you going to pay for everything? You need money, right? So, you know, you need to be versatile in photography. You cannot be, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do, man. I mean, I don't know because I don't know how to play. I don't know how to use lights. And, and I only can do a photo shoot at five, at five in the afternoon, six in the afternoon. But I'm losing clients because clients want to book me at 12, 12 o'clock in the in the afternoon. That's why you need to know how to play with lights. You need you need you need to know how to play with lighting, guys. Master your lighting is is key number one in photography. Master your lighting and learn the business size of photography, and you're good to go, guys. That's simple as that. That's the two things you guys need to learn: lighting and marketing yourself. Let everything else come after, guys. So I'm just wanted to talk to you about this topic because I think it's really messed up for years and for years. People saying it's about the photography gear and and not the photographer. Guys, it's the photographer. It's the photographer. Hundred percent is the photographer first, then the gear. You know, later on, when you, whenever you have more money, you get yourself a more expensive camera. But little by little, step by step, uh, the day you the, since the day you born. You don't want learning how to walk, right? You don't. You don't come out out of your mom's body running or riding a bike. You know, you learn how to do those 
things first. It's the same thing with photography. It's little by little, step by steps, you know? And it takes time. Photography, um, it took me years to learn how to play with lights. It took me years to how, how to do this. It, it, I didn't want, I was not born know how to use a flash or know how to use a, 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 a strobe light or LED lights or anything like that. I, I learned myself, guys. I put myself to my, I, I put it in my head. I need to learn how to use light. And lighting, guys, lighting is key number one in photography. If you learn how to do lighting and you learn how to market yourself, game over. That's it, you know? You got this, you, you got this, you know? So, yeah, so if you guys have any, any, if you guys have any questions about photography, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. And I'm doing, an, or I'm doing this raw video here with no editing. I only had the lighting from the roof of my, from my house that I have a lot of light in. And that's it. I'm just doing something wrong right now for, for my YouTube channel. This video is no editing. Not even, I don't even have a microphone. So it's whatever. I just wanted to talk to you. I put this out of my, I'm out of my chest right now. Because I wanted to talk to you about this topic because a lot of people, the camera, the camera, the camera. Guys, it's not the camera, it's the photographer. So put that in your head. Learn how to play with lighting. Learn learn the marketing side. If you learn those two things, that's it. You're good, for, you're good to go. Learn how to play with light and marketing. That's it, you're good to go, okay? Like I say, if you have any questions about photography, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and this channel I'm gonna be putting videos that has to do anything with photography and the business size of photography, I'm gonna teach about lighting, I'm gonna teach about the gear, but I'm gonna also gonna teach about how to make money because trust me, you don't wanna be a broke photographer. You wanna be a, a photographer that makes money, okay? You wanna make ten, twenty thousand dollars a month. You don't wanna be broke thinking about how to make money with photography. Right now, we're going through a hard time uh, because everything we're going on, we're in quarantine at the house, but it is what it is. But when everything is back to normal, make money, man. Yes, you can make with photography $10,000 a month. Yes, you can. Don't let nobody tell you you can be not making $10,000 a month with photography. You easily can make $100,000 a year with photography, okay? It's up to you how bad do you want it. If you want it really bad, make it happen, all right? See you in the next video and subscribe to the channel. Peace and stay blessed.